Hey, what's up? It's me, JDS4696. Today I'm doing a review for my Ash figure from, you know, the Evil Dead film series. But actually, this is uh, from a... Uh, uh, it now... It's based on its appearance in Evil Dead 2. Kind of a mixture of, like, the whole trilogy. But it's, it's really Evil Dead 2 because, you know, he has, like, the chainsaw arm after he lost his hand. But it's, uh, it takes like, it comes with items that were in uh, the Army of Darkness, which was the third and like final film of the Evil Dead trilogy. But you know, they had rebooted the film series where they remade the original one. Because you know, the, the films were directed by Sam Raimi. And they you know they starred Bruce Campbell as uh, Ash, as we know right you know. So this is part of the uh, McFarlane Toys Movie Mini X Series uh, 3. Now, as I as I mentioned before, this uh, figure is based on uh, the character that was played by uh, Bruce Campbell, and he was known as like Ash. Like he uh, debuted in the first Evil Dead film, which was like released in the eighties. Then there was an uh, Evil Dead two. Then they did the final film, which is a uh, Army of Darkness. So it wasn't called Evil Dead three; it is called it uh, the Army of Darkness. So yeah, um, this is based on this. Uh, um, you could say mostly his, his appearance in part two, which is a very popular like film cult classic. And the Evil Dead series is like a uh, a horror franchise. Like, you know, it's like a horror horror films. As you can see, Ash is like bloody and stuff and everything. You know, and he he has to take on like the undead and and various things like that. Now this also came with the. Uh, the uh, Army of Darkness poster, as you can see, it has Ash on it. And then, like, the, the lady that was on there as well. Now, I'm going to touch on everything that the figure came with. Like, he comes with, like, a shotgun, like, the chainsaw. And he also has the Book of... I think it was the Book of the Dead. I think that's what this is called. And it looks exactly how it does in the movie. Like, with the face on it. As you can see, it has that face on it. It's kind of cool. I think they call this the Book of the Dead. It has like other little things, you know. Like these other accessories that came with it were like from the uh, the Army of Darkness film, if I'm not mistaken. Now, uh, as you can see, now this, this Ash figure, it has kind of bad, uh, it doesn't really stand that well, as you can see right here, you know. I have to actually hold it to get it to stand. It, it, it looks like it doesn't really like stand too well. But other than that, it's like a, it's a, it looks excellent. It looks just like the uh, the Bruce Campbell, you know, like Ash Ash Hero, you know, the Ash, you know, his name Ash. But you can he also comes with like the shotgun, as you can see right here in his back. Like you can pull it out too as well. Now you can't really put it in his hand. I, don't think. I think I can, though, if I'm not mistaken. You can, but it'd be kind of like, you know, you could tell it wasn't really made for that. But you can, I think, actually put in that. So, you know, he comes with like this shotgun. I'm going to put it back in his uh, holster, which I think is pretty cool, you know. This, it, and it looks exactly how he does, like in the film. It has like, he has like a watch right here on him, you know, he's bloody. And it looks just like a... Bruce Campbell, like how he looks, it looks exactly like him. You know, he say groovy, like on the phone, I think that's what he says, like when it's trademark. Now, this right here, of course, is uh, Ash's chainsaw, which you can take out, as you can see, because if you remember on part two, when he had lost his hand, because it's been a while, I've seen all three of them, I even saw the remake, but like uh, on uh, Evil Dead 2, he had lost his hand because it was, it was like uh, possessed by like a demon or something like that. Because it was trying like to hurt him and kill him and stuff. So he actually had to chop his hand off. And then he replaced it with this chainsaw. Yeah, because I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's been a while. He used the chainsaw to cut his hand off. So then he took this chainsaw. And as you can see right here, you can like put it in his, like his arm. You know, you can put it like on, in his, on his wrist or whatever. You know, put it on in there. And as you can see, I put it back on. It, it, it's a cool figure, you know, cool. It looks exactly how it does, you know. It kind of has good articulation. You can move the arm up and down, you know. You also can turn, like, Ash's head and stuff as well, too, as you can see. You can, like, turn and stuff. This arm here can go up and down, too, as well. 
the waist can be turned too a little bit, but it 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 it, it still really doesn't it really doesn't like stand that well, you know. I have to actually prop it up on this picture like that, as you can see. But yeah, these are like the accessories that he came with too, as well. You know, he also has the uh, the Book of the Dead. I think that's what they call it in the film, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, it even has like the face on it, like the evil looking face. And even on the back of it, it has like another face, you know. So this is known as the Book of the Dead in the film, you know, in the Evil Dead films. And he also has this, uh, now I think this is from Army of Darkness, because I don't remember this being on two or the first. It's been a while since I've seen him, you know. Like this miniature like ash figure which is very small like a puppet or something and it also has like this pitchfork thing too as well as you can see really like this pitchfork thing <laughs> which is kind of cool you know I think I think this goes on this figure too as well I think you can attach it to it if I'm not mistaken And yeah, you can, as you can see, I have it on a... Mm -hmm. Now, he also comes with this right here, this like, this like metal hand, and this is from part three. I remember they, they gave him this hand for like his replacement since, you know, in place of the chainsaw. So you can actually like put this on in here like this. And now he has like a metal, like, like an like a armor hand that they had gave him on the Army of Darkness, because I even remember that. So as you can see, there it is right now. But of course, he looks more cooler with like his chainsaw hand, you know, which is I always thought I always thought was cool. Plus the shotgun that he has, you know, like in his back right there as well, and he has like blood and stuff on him, like you know, from the like how he looked on the film. But yeah, I I think this is an excellent figure, you know. Now the the problem with this figure, though, for my opinion. Is it, it just doesn't like it doesn't really stand that well like I mentioned before it really doesn't like stand too well you know I actually have to prop it up against the poster to get it to stand well you know which is kind of annoying but if you're like an Ash fan or like an Evil Dead film fan you know it's like a it's an excellent figure like I mean as far as the look of it because you probably if you mess with the feet enough and I don't let them bother with it too much because it be so like fragile you know it may like break or anything, but if you actually like, you know, if you like, like, you know what I'm saying, I can find a way to really pop it right, this is, this is a cool looking like figure, you know, I would recommend it, and this is from uh, McFarlane Toys, Movie Mini like Series 3, and this was also the box that this Ash figure came in too as well, as you can see right here, and it was based on, it says Army of Darkness, but it really, like, it really is based on his appearance, like how you looked in uh, Ash looked in the uh, Evil Dead too, but he was like this in the beginning of uh, Army of Darkness too as well. Before they uh, gave him like the, the metal, like the metal arm, I mean hands and stuff like that. You know, he was actually like this in the beginning of it. But it's been a while since I saw those films. You know, okay, so yeah, this is a uh, McFarlane Toys Movie Mini Series Three Army of Dark Ash figure from uh based on it's really based on his appearance in Evil Dead too, like I said before. But they call it Army of Darkness in this Ash. You know.